Hello everyone, this is Unretired, and today we're bringing you a demolitionist build. Now, this is my rifle build. Now, this is an interesting uh, way of playing it, because most people will want to play with canister, bomb, and or granado, more preferably than anything else. So, this is more, it's not burst DPS, it's more of a survivability, I would say it's more of a multiplayer build. Uh, it's very good for solo anyways, It's uh, it doesn't mean that it's not good for solo as well. So, let's take a look at the point that I, made, that I put. I maxed uh, Fire Strike, now whatever is in blue if you're new to Grim Dawn, it's because I have plus one skills uh, to that particular skill and or to demolitionist in you know in a hole now so I put 12 in fire strike and I have plus three as, as well uh, that gives me a plus 63 percent physical damage per shot and 53 fire damage per shot fired and I maxed out static strike uh, it does cost you six energy per shot just like it'll cost you 10 energy per shot for this so it's 16 energy total uh, every time you shoot so it, this one has a 48% chance of dealing 219 lightning damage a plus 62% fire damage on on hit and a 28% chance of knockdown target of knocking down the target for one second which is pretty good um, you know you knock down your target throw down a granado or a canister bomb finishes them off Excellent. I had put one point into stun jacks and three points into full spread. Now I have so many points in full spread because I have gear that adds skills to it. I have two rings that add plus two each, so that's plus four plus my amulet, headpiece, and so on and so forth. I had put six points into canister bomb, so half of the twelve, and I put eight into granado. I maxed out the flashbang to 12 uh reason being is that i need something to cc characters i mean uh, you can't just be running around and just wasting your energy for uh, god for no reason so that's pretty good it's cost you 27 energy per shot um cooldown is excessively quick it's just an almost instant it's uh, only of an eight meter radius though it's not very far uh, but if you get a cluster of mobs, they're basically fucked. Uh, and it gives you a 53% chance to confuse the target for 3 to 5 seconds, which is really good. Uh, that 3 to 5 seconds, it gives you ample time to nuke the hell out of your mobs. And you have a 230 reduced target's defensive ability for 5 seconds. I love that. Uh, and I did put 1 point into Skyfire Granado. Um, just being that I added a uh, component to my <clears throat> uh, to my um, uh, rifle it's the Hellbane's ammo it adds uh, 3 to 17 lightning damage plus 25 percent lightning damage and a plus 10 percent stun duration so that adds on to the stun duration uh, of your rifle build right here so if I knock back that character for one second while well, that not that knockback from my rifle uh, adds that 10% more and you might be wondering what this is so this is from the arcanist tree I max I just only put one point in stats so I could get the uh, Iskandra's elemental exchange so it's a 3.6 active energy cost per second not per second that's it's active but per second that I'm actually using it means every shot fired uh, 195 energy reserve, not a problem. A 12 meter radius, good for rifles. Uh, 31 elemental damage per hit of what you're hitting, and a 33% chance of 66 energy leech per second. So that's not too bad. You have about a 1.5 chance of getting uh, 66 energy back. So you're pretty much getting back uh, what you put in, uh, damage uh, energy wise, and. Without further ado, let's go take a look at uh, how it is. Um, so we'll just go to um, Homestead. Homestead, Homestead. Won't be too long here. So what I'll do is I'll try to get a bunch of characters right off the bat. 
Um, let's go here. I can just show you how quick it is to kill mob. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. And this is on veteran. I can conf confuse that mob. Renato here. I can send out another bomb right there. Boom, boom. And you can use your stun jacks. Uh, as you can see, the rifle is doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, you want to keep a further distance than what I'm doing. It's, I'm so used to playing with my night blade that it's not even funny. So yeah, so that's pretty quick um, in itself. Let's go see if I, we can get some more mobs. Uh, there you go. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's just go around. Put some stuns. Stun them here. Granado here. And you can confuse them again. Boom. So even even an armored character is it takes damage quite quite quickly. So it's either confused, take advantage, use the granado if you want, or the cancer bomb, boom, and you're done. And as you can see, it it does quite a bit of damage per shot. Uh, let's see these guys. So it it does energy damage and it ha applies the dot as well. So let's just stun it here. Oh, and they won't always get stunned. Some mobs are very stun resistant, uh, like those ones. And see, wait, let's just see one shot there. And let's just show this. Confuse, Renato. And stun them. So the light, the lightning damage in itself is uh, very useful. You can see that they're kind of being stopped in their tracks every time I hit them. Uh, let's see if there was another mob here. Ugh. Let's just go here. I just want to give you another example. You just, I don't want to die in this crap either. Okay, let's go. So, uh, boom, canister. Use the canister bombs again. And these birds are so annoying. The, I think they're the most annoying. <laughs> Just die. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is the build. It's very easy um, build to get. Um, you just have to put the points that you want. Now, if you're starting off, I would go more for a fire-based um, uh, rifle build if you want to go rifle. The um, reason being is there are a lot more items that will give you fire damage compared to lightning damage. You can add components to your gear f to add lightning damage. Uh, but then again, um, there's more for fire, so try fire. If you like the fire and you want to try something different from that, try the lightning. Uh, unfortunately, there's no real cold fire build unless you go full cold damage with components uh, but even then it won't be uh, that impressive so i hope you like the build guys um this was my rifle build um if you like the video do press the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you haven't seen my other grim dawn videos the link is in the description for the playlist and uh again i'm unretired and i'll see you guys in the next video